There's more than a dozen protesters here on Hargett Street right across from this bus station. I'm carrying this T-shirt to help my eyes right now. There was tear gas administered by police because nearby there's looters hitting a CVS store. I'm going to walk you through what we're seeing right now. If you take a look right over here, there's actually places for people to wash their hands if they're dealing with any type of tear gas on their hands. There's also some stations out here that protesters have set up with water to help them as they're trying to get their message across. It's very difficult to even see. A lot of people right now are trying to wash off this tear gas that they're dealing with. They're offering even water for us out here because the tear gas just came out. You can see the bus route is still happening behind us. They're still trying to go out here and protest regardless of the tear gas or not. Now we haven't seen any police officers right here, but if you take a look over this way near this street, normally this is a really popular area downtown. There's several bars out here and restaurants. You can see the area looks to be blocked off. There's a few items in the middle of the street right now. Um, this is as far as we can go. If you take a look at me, my eyes are already starting to well up because the tear gas is so strong out here. We know that there's a few choppers that are flying over at this time. Now, we've been talking to some protesters. They really want police officers and the government to know their feelings on the situation. Um, we've seen some signs that say Black Lives Matter. Also additional signs protesting the death of several unarmed black men. We're gonna be out here all night trying to get the very latest. Reporting live in downtown Raleigh, Felicia Bolton, CBS 17 News.